You know, I never realized how many dogs bark or planes fly over until I started recording videos. Hi everybody, Bobby from the Rabbitry Center, and today I wanted to talk about our schedule and what we're up to right now. Uh, right now I'm waiting for Home Depot to, to get some six inch tile from Home Depot because we want to do that kindling video. And we're going to talk about the run and the kindling tote. And uh, we're also going to talk about our chicks because in our previous video we ran out of time. So, but I just want to talk about our schedule and, and where we're at here in mid-April. We stay pretty busy. Our family is always doing something. And in January and February is really our only downtime. And we usually even take those two months to scout for deer. Deer season gets over here in Michigan in January. January 1st is the last day. So that's a good time where we go in and we're always finding new spots because when you're hunting deer, you're also hunting around other hunters. So it's really important to take advantage of that time because signs really fresh. You got snow to show tracks and things, but as soon as March hits, that's when things speed back up and things are really starting to move. The end of March, that's when we'll get our chicks. But as soon as March starts, like March 1st, we're out in our apple orchard. We're pruning all our trees. We're tying our branches down for fruiting and we're fertilizing once everything's done. We're also getting our chicks, like I said, March, and as soon as April starts, uh, we're splitting wood because we have, in our experience, as long as our wood's split by May 1st, that gives it enough time for the moisture to drop below 20% in the firewood. So the chicks that we raise will take anywhere from three months to six months to get to where we want their size to harvest them. After six months, you know, come around, um, what is it, September, October, they'll start to lay eggs. But raising chickens is really simple. I know a lot of people will go as far as to put um, apple cider vinegar in their water and all this other stuff. I mean, I've always just used water. Water and, and starter pellet because there's medicated feed to, to help them have the immune systems. So that's what we've been up to right now is we're really in the middle of splitting all our firewood. And at the end of April, that is when we start uh, doing our dormant oil spray. We're gonna use horticultural oil and we're gonna go through and spray all the trees to make sure we kill any bugs that were living on the bark or nesting in the wood. That's really important for, for good fruit production. And we'll talk more about fruit trees later on. But so we're doing that in April, we're splitting our wood in April, and as soon as we get done with all that, at the end of April, here next week, we're gonna get all our bee stuff around. We're gonna get, because it's swarm season, all the overwintering hives are gonna get so big that they're just gonna be busting out and they're gonna be splitting and taking off. And we wanna get those splits ready. This is really good for your bees because when you split your bees, it gives them time to uh, groom each other and pull any kind of row up mites off and, and uh, you, use, you wanna use screen bottom boards and we'll talk all about that. Anybody excited about beekeeping and wants to hear more about that, go ahead and check out our channel, Bobby's Bees. Uh, a lot of good stuff on there, a lot of good information. Anybody who loves deer hunting, let's check out our other channel, Bobby's Bucks. Uh, really excited, I'm a passionate deer hunter here in Michigan. I don't use any bait or lures. Uh, a lot of it's illegal now here in Michigan, so, and I still, we still harvest good deer every year, and I'll be sure to share all my information. So raising chicks is really simple. You just need a small coop where you can put the chickens in and put some feed in one corner and some water in the other corner. For the first month, they're gonna stay in the coop. They're not even gonna come out of it. You know, they're just gonna hang around the brooder, the brood heater, and uh, there's a really good heater that I recommend that we use this year, and, and basically you just, it's when they're when they're tiny, you just put the brooder in the way it is. But as soon as they start to get taller, you'll put them on some two by fours or even some four by fours, and then eventually you'll just turn it upright and it will sit on its side on some legs. And you know, it's not even maybe four weeks you're pulling the heater out. They, once they get their feathers, they don't need the heat anymore. You know, it depends on where you're raising them. I mean, we're, we're here in Michigan, so we usually purchase some cold hardy birds, and we tend to get some different ones every year, but. After a month, you know, you're pulling the food, you're pulling the pellet and you're pulling the, uh, the, the water out of the coop and you're gonna take it out into the run because you want them to, uh, you, don't, you don't want the food and the water in the coop because they're just gonna make a mess. They're gonna get big and they're gonna be kicking it around and things. So, and plus it encourages them to get out of the coop and, and uh, stretch their legs, so. But really simple you know a lot of people think you can't raise your chickens outside because it's too cold i mean our, our temperatures were down to 17 18 degrees and these chicks um you know the the only time we got a lot of gnats out here the only time that you'll ever lose chicks is 
Oh, no, I can't say the only time, but it's common to lose chicks maybe the first day or the second day because they just, you'll, you'll find those chicks. It won't take long to find those chicks that aren't going to make it or that were a week in the first place. The animals are just really coming out. The woods is coming to life right now. Got lots of gnats and I've got deer running over here. I've got something like a like a hedgehog or something over here. So it's right but it's sunsetting right now. So but I just wanted to come out here and talk to you and tell you what's what's going on with me right now. Really busy and things are starting to heat up. Plus, oh I didn't even mention in mid-April we, we start our starters from seed. We start our vegetables from seed in the house. Uh, we'll grow our you know wonder peppers, our red peppers tomatoes, things like that, as well as like comfrey for our rabbits. Uh, if anybody out there is curious about comfrey, we're gonna do a video later on about how to grow comfrey and it's really good for your rabbits. So that's pretty much what we're up to and that's how we, that's how we raise our chicks. Um, you know, if, if, you ever, if you already have other chickens, if you're curious how to introduce chickens, really all you have to do is just a barrier, put a barrier up between the coop, in the coop or out of the coop in the run and give it a few days where they can come up to the fence and see each other. And then remove the fence after a couple days. You know, I love Michigan temperatures. I mean, we have our, our winter time, which is rough because, it, you know, as soon as November hits, it makes for good deer hunting. But as soon as November, December, January, February, that's like the frozen time here in Michigan. And then you have like two months of in between, you know, you know the March and April. But May, June, July, and August, I mean, that is the hot season. So just like that really cold four months, we have a really hot four months. And then our September and October is usually, you know, again, great bonfire weather, hoodie weather. But that's really what we're up to. I mean, the weather um, kind of dictates what we're going to do and when we're gonna do it. And, you know, just stay tuned for that, that video, that uh, kindling tote video. I'm sorry I couldn't bring it to you this week, but I appreciate you tuning in for that. Until next time, we'll see you on the next video. Okay, cool. Just aim for the bottom right. <laughs>